You know when you come across that one item that you know you're going to regret leaving? This blanket, it's king size for $16. And all I can see is a pair of jogging pants. I think this textile would look really great in a pair of joggers. So I might throw this in my basket. I'm a little leery to pay $16 because you know I'm extra frugal, but I'm gonna think on this one. Um, still debating on this. I did get that king size blanket for $16 that I showed you all. I was thinking I would use this to make my husband a winter jacket. <laughs> Well, hello there, friends. You know that feeling you get when you've been working on a project for quite a while and you finally are approaching the finish line? You know how you start to see the light at the end of the tunnel? Well, I think I'm finally there with this jacket that I started constructing for my husband. I can't remember now if it was late 
uh, if it was late December or early January, it was supposed to be a Christmas present for him. And I am just sending him much love because he's so patient. Um, other projects and things kept coming up and we weren't able to um, find the, a good fabric that he wanted and everything. But um, we finally are approaching the finish line. I wanted to tell you guys about this fabric that was chosen. This was a quilt that I found at a thrift shop back in December during Vlogmas when I took you on a thrift haul with me for Vlogmas. If you didn't see that video and you're interested, I will place a link in the description box. But I started not to get this. I had him in mind because I knew I was going to make him a coat. And um, it's February. It's still cold here. And so we probably will be wearing coats and jackets at least till mid-March, sometimes mid-April. It just depends. We have very volatile weather. But I found this in a thrift shop and I had him in mind when I purchased it. I didn't think he would go for the color. And sure enough, that was an issue when I first presented it to him. But he decided he liked all of the uh, stitching, the top stitching, the decorative top stitching that's here and so we went ahead and went for it and I think it turned out gorgeous. I mixed it with another uh, quilt. I will give you guys a few full full uh, view of him in the coat. Okay, friends, I am tired. This thing is wearing me out. Sewing with this thick um, comforter. Um, this one, because it has so many pieces, has really been a challenge. But this is what I have so far. The only thing left to do is maybe some top stitching down the center front, buttonholes, and then buttons. So, yeah. I'm wondering if I should have top stitched this collar. But it's a really nice jacket. Hey friends, I forgot to say, do you guys like my hat? Um, this is an upcycle. I made this hat, did a um tutorial or so along here on my channel about a year and a half ago for this hat, which was formerly a uh, men's shirt. And you can see I used the pocket that was on the front for a decorative element. And um, it's just a really great hat. It was supposed to be a baseball hat, but because I left extra room in the top for my, my thick hair, um, it kind of was more like a, um, I don't know what you call this little railroad, hats i don't know if i'm saying it correctly the correct name but anyway um let me try to show you the back i think there's another pocket back there uh and <laughs> i left a hole in the top to vent because um otherwise i'll sweat profusely in my head so that little hole that's up there um was left for venting purposes but this is completely machine wash. I've washed it several times. I do typically have to iron it after, but the shape just pops right back in. Um, check the link in the description. I'll put the link to this video. I also added this extra little band right here 
for comfort and plus it catches all the sweat and makeup um it's really really good and then it has an elasticized band in there for multiple sizes so guys this is a great hat if you're interested in checking out this tutorial check the link in the description peace and blessings <laughs>